Okay, I'm inside big cave. Uh, it's such a huge cave, my flashlight can't really light it all up. So basically, instead of trying, I'm just walking through here, pointing my camera at the ground, so you can at least see how pretty the rocks are. I mean, even this one rock, see how it's a gray part at the far side, and then sort of brown in the middle? That's just one rock, and it's covered with loose orange rocks. It's like a Skittles in here. Not quite as bright. A little healthier. All right, anyway. This cave, I don't remember how long it is. I think it's maybe half a mile. It's not super small. They call it big cave because of the height and the diameter, not the length. But it's a good sized cave. Once you get used to boulder, you know, scrambling, it's not that hard of a cave. But yeah, it's not recommended for beginners just because a lot of these rocks are small. So you have to get used to not really having any footing. It's like playing hopscotch on rocks that are loose. A little tricky. Yeah, man, I wish... Darn it. Oh, God, my flashlight's glitching. Rawr. Anyway, yeah, I wish I could... The camera would do it justice, because right here, the ceiling is easily, I don't know, 30 or 40 feet tall, and this, the width, wall to wall, easily 50 feet. Absolutely huge for this kind of cave in this area. Obviously, I've seen bigger limestone caves, but only for like one big room. Limestone caves, they don't stay long for big distances usually. They're very uneven because it depends on wherever the water goes. Here, it's wherever the lava flowed. Lava is a little pickier than water. Water can drip down between cracks pretty easily. Lava usually sticks to one big tube or channel. Oops, oh come on. See, just inadvertently shaking the flashlight. Stupid thing glitches out. Hmm. I would like to find a better flashlight, but it's hard to go on eBay and find flashlights that are shake proof. Oh, see guys should write. You see the thing is the people on eBay who sell flashlights, I don't think they're the original manufacturers. I just think they're sort of retailers, you know? So, you know, they don't even know what they're selling. They just go with what the box tells them. So it's not like I could suggest to them, hey, you should have a flashlight that does this. They won't know what I'm talking about. But look how smooth the wall is here. Not paper smooth, but pretty close. And then a little higher, it's like a ledge. So it's like if there was another layer, different color, different rock. Same cave, obviously. I would really like to light up this whole cave so you can see the whole thing. But it's just such a huge... Yeah. What I would like to do is maybe when I'm retired, I can move closer here. So I can do still photography. You don't have time to do that. That way I could do, you know, a reasonable light. 30 second exposure times. Stuff like that. Or maybe I'll come here on a one-day photography expedition and do that. But... Yeah. But with my small camera, even 30-second exposure, which is the max. Don't get me started. But anyway... It's funny today's cameras, they're not willing to do, like, five minute exposures and stuff oh well some of them have a bulb mode oh what the heck look at this sparklers somebody brought sparklers in here it's such a big cave and there's not really any wildlife here doesn't make that much difference but still that's a bad habit because you know there's not a lot of airflow in here so if you set up fires and stuff fill this smoke Whatever wildlife there is in here, you're gonna affect it. It's not really a good idea. 
But I better do that stuff outside. The thing is, it's dry outside. The fire level is really high. So, um, except for like, you know, closed up grills, fires outside are illegal. Like no campfires, no barbecues, etc. Unless it's like a gas grill. So, yeah, obviously that rules out fireworks. Didn't mean to make so much noise breathing. <laughs> Just sort of a habit. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Wow, yeah. Got a good boulder scramble here. Let's see if I can get through here. <laughs> I thought I saw a bug on the rock, but it was just a hole in the rock. The shadow was shaped kind of like a bug. That's what I suspected. I wouldn't expect any wildlife except bats this far into the cave. Like I said earlier, an animal would have to be pretty dang lost to get back here. Okay, it looks like I need to switch flashlights again. Looks like this flashlight's going bad. So let's see if I can switch to a better one. 